now let us see representation of rational numbers on number line Okay, let us see now representation of rational numbers on number line. So we need to represent the rational numbers on number line. So let us see now. Fine. So we will take one example first. And let us see how to represent this all in number line. So what are the steps we need to follow first? So every rational number can be represented by some point on line. So first we need to draw a line, mark a point O on it represent the integer 0 set of equal distance on both sides so every ratio number also we can represent on a number line draw a line first step then on some point just to mark a point O so this I am marking O. Now take equal distance and set off the integers of the points on both sides. 1, 2. So left side is same distance, minus 1, minus 2. So this is nothing but representing, actually preparing number line. Now, according to our given question, we need to represent. So, there are two type of, uh, I mean, three type of rational numbers. That is proper fraction, improper, and mixed. Okay. First, let us see if they will give proper. Proper fraction means a proper rational number. How do you can represent? Maybe both are negative or positives also we can do the same procedure according to the given line now let us consider the rational number 3 by 5 I am taking 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 is a proper fraction actually every proper fractions are less than 1 and this is a positive proper fraction that means more than 0 so this should be between 0 and 1 only ok 3 by 5 is a proper fraction and which is the positive so proper fractions are less than 1 and because if it is a positive it must be greater than 0 so it should be in between these two between 0 and 1 now first step is just check whatever denominator here denominator is 5 if denominator is 5 make 5 equal parts or divide the unit length between 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts five equal parts you have to make between 0 and 1 so I am taking five equal parts so 1 2 3 so parts should be 5 exactly not lines so 0 this is starting 0 and this is one part second third fourth five five parts now this is first part, second, third, fourth and fifth part. Right? So just we need to represent, now this is 3 by 5, means third part out of 5. So numerator is 3 now. So because of the numerator is 3, you can take the third part. Now 1, 2, 3. Now this is 3 by 5. 
because third part itself so just two steps first prepare the line then according to the denominator take that many parts and which is the numerator particular part from the zero is the number position on the number line of this rational number that is 3 by 5 so for example they asked 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 means this is also proper fraction you now 5 parts in this first part now this only 1 by 5 so this next one is a 2 by 5 3 by 5 next is 4 by 5 this is 5 by 5 so 5 by 5 is nothing but 1 that's what you can make it as 1 now this is positive uh, proper fraction so in this we have improper fractions if it is improper fractions we can convert into mixed fraction then you need to represent on a number line okay second part we'll see if it is improper fraction now we can represent on the number line let us take uh, 13 by 4 I am taking the number is 13 by 4 so 13 by 4 how we need to represent on a number line so take the number line mark any point 0 and 1 okay 13 by 4 is if you convert into mixed fraction that is 3 1 by 4 3 1 by 4 because you can do division 13 divided by 4 4 3 is a 12 remainder is 1 now this is the order this is the line 3 next to 1 by 4 that means it's more than 3 less than 4 right so you can take 3 and 4 some more big size big place so I take 0 little this side so 0 1 2 3 and 4 So your number is 3 1 by 4 that means this is 3 point something that means it's more than 3 and it should be less than 4 now don't see the 3 now so remaining part is 1 by 4 so in 1 by 4 denominator is 4 so because of denominator is 4 and it will come after 3 make into 4 equal parts after 3 make 4 equal parts between 3 and 4 so 1 2 3 4 so 4 equal parts we need to make 1 2 3 and 4 now to represent this 3 1 by 4 on number line after 3 we made 4 parts so first two part is the 3 1 by 4 that is first part itself this is 3 1 by 4 because next is 3 2 by 4 next is 3 3 by 4 next is 3 4 by 4 that is 4 let us take 2 1 by 3 this example then that means it's more than 2 and less than 3 and denominator is 3 therefore between 2 and 3 we should make 3 equal parts because denominator is 3 now 1 1 2 3 between 2 and 3 so if you represent 2 1 by 3 it's after 2 1 by 3 means first part now this is 2 1 by 3 this is the way if any improper fraction is given convert into mixed fraction and they can represent on number line mixed fraction if they'll give in question directly we can make it and most important thing is the last one is if they'll give negative numbers negative fractions and negative rational numbers 
Delhi how to do we will receive just you will do negative side means of below zero it is so let us take if it is negatives for example taking minus 9 by 7 or minus 1 by 4 Now these are the numbers I need to represent on number line. So make number line. This, since both are negatives, I'm taking negative side little more value. Zero. Side is one. Minus one. Minus two, minus three, and so on. So minus 9 by 7. We can if we convert into mixed fraction this minus 1 2 by 7. Minus 1 2 by 7 because you know 7 plus 2 9. Now we can do division. Minus 1 2 by 7. The first one minus 1 and some extra is there. That means it will go towards the minus 2. So it is uh, greater than less than minus 1 and greater than minus 2 so in between minus 1 minus 2 same procedure your denominator is 7 so we should make 7 equal parts so let us take 7 equal parts minus 1 and minus 2 7 parts we should make. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Yeah, 7 parts I made. Now we should actually positive means from 0 to right side will take. Now negative means 0 to left. Now after minus 1, we should come towards left side. That means left side second place because 2 by 7. So in 7 parts, the second part from the left. You should come to the left side now 2 by 7 that is this is first place and second now this is minus 1 2 by 7 so next is minus 1 3 by 7 next is minus 1 4 by 7 finally like minus 2 will come okay this is one. next we will see minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is the proper and between 0 and minus 1 that means four parts. So let us make the four equal parts. Yeah. Four parts I made. In that first part itself from this. Because from the zero onwards you have to come from left. Now this is minus one by four. So next place is minus two by four, minus three by four, minus four by four. So this minus four by four means minus one. Fine. If it is a positive, we will take the positive side. Negative means we will take the left side. There is negative side. So this is the way we can represent rational numbers 